Hi, and welcome to another edition of Azure Everyday. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm a principal consultant here with Pragmatic Works, and today we'd like to talk to you about Worm Storage in Azure. Microsoft supports immutable storage with their Blob storage accounts, and this is fairly new. This allows various regulated industries and legal institutions or legal situations to be properly supported in Azure. Let's start with a conversation about what immutable storage is. In the industry, this is often referred to as worm compliant storage, which is write once, read many. Once the content is written, it cannot be altered or deleted. Typically, this is time box, as the same data may need to be removed for compliance reasons at a later date. CEFC, SEC, and FINRA all have compliance policies which require businesses under compliance to store certain data with worm compliance. Why does this matter in Azure? Up until this Azure release, most companies had to maintain multiple storage environments to meet their regulatory needs. Microsoft had a worm compliance as an enforced audited policy feature for all blob storage. This is a key cost savings in management simplification for businesses under compliance. They can now use Azure storage and add compliance to storage as needed. Furthermore, all levels, including archive, support the immutable storage policy, reducing storage costs even more. Here are the four key areas that have been called out that immutable storage supports in Azure. First, time-based retention policy support. Users can specify the length of time the data needs to be stored immutably. This is a key for FINRA, where the regulations require the ability to show the state of the data when decisions were made. Second, Azure Storage supports legal holds. This is often required during various lawsuits or investi investigations, including things like patent lawsuits and so on. You can now put the data, including files, emails, and other types of data, pictures, images, whatever is required for that legal hold, into a blob container and add, legal, and add a legal hold onto it. If you use Azure regularly, this may support putting legal holds on the existing data stores as well, if you're under a lawsuit that requires something like that. Third, as I mentioned above, all blob tiers are supported, hot, cold, and archive. So you can use archive for long-term mutable storage as needed, which should simplify and reduce your cost as opposed to a third-party uh, worm compliance solution. Uh, finally, these policies can be added to the container level, which will, can, which will simplify management of the data for the container. So you can basically put it all in the container, like I mentioned before, and you can lock it down the container and add whatever you need to the container to meet the compliance policies that are in place on that container. What does it cost? It is a policy. It's added as a policy, and as I as I did some investigation looking, this is that you have this available to you today, and you can start using it immediately with no cost implications either. You pay for the storage. This is a policy that gets applied to the storage. It does not cost you additional to become more compliant and secure. This is just one more step that Microsoft has taken to make their cloud pattern more compliant and secure and to serve the needs, in this case, of the financial industry in particular, but in, could help any company or industry that has things like legal holds, which are more common than we'd like to believe. If you have any questions about using Azure Storage, its immutability, worm compliance, click the link below for more information. We'd be happy to reach out to you. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day.